Hola cafeinos! We are Café con Leche Travels. My name is Travis. I'm David. And we are in beautiful Oaxaca this week. And I am about to trip over this cat. <laughs> this cat loves us and wants to come <laughs> everywhere with us. Anyway. And this week we want to take you around and show you some sights. Do some things. So let's go! We are now in the Zocalo, the center of the city. There are tons of cafes and food vendors. And one of the biggest churches is down here too. And there's all these cool lights that lead up to the center gazebo. And at night, I bet this place looks magical. So we definitely have to come back. This is the Calle Alcala. It is a pedestrian only street, so I'm not sure how far it goes, but for a little while you could just keep walking without any cars. And it's so beautiful. So beautiful. Let's check it out. store part museum it is awesome okay the amount of time it takes to do all of these things i don't even know but i think we're gonna get some incense So walking up and down the pedestrian Alcala Street is an awesome activity. <laughs> yeah, there's basically everything in Centro is kind of centered around that street. And there's cafes, there's museums, there's churches, there's everything. And there's all these little like artisan shops to go in. We bought incense at one and wanted to buy art at another, but it was hundreds of thousands of pesos. <laughs> so maybe when we get some more subscribers, we can come back. But it's still really cool just to walk around and see all of the amazing art. Today, we are going to do something so cool. We are biking to the one of the oldest trees in the world. It's over 2,000 years old, and it may be the widest tree in the entire world. So, let's go.
you guys, on the side of the bike path, there's some casual cows. It's so cool. How cool is this? This is beautiful. We're passing farms and rivers, oh, and streams and cows. But there's this amazing protected bike path the whole way. And it's flat and mountains on either side. It's really something. This is awesome. Okay, so. Tree is closed due to COVID. COVID is ruining everything. It was a six mile bike ride. <laughs> it was very nice. And that is the tree. You can see it. But there's a really nice park. That's closed. They've boarded up the fence. So that's my triste. Um, this was a surprise. <laughs> this yeah. was not listed on Google. We were not expecting it to be closed because it's outside. <clears throat> but, but if you're headed here, don't. <laughs> I'm glad we didn't take a taxi. Yeah, no joke. The scenery is beautiful, beautiful though. And this is a cute little town. So I guess we'll just bike around, see what, what we, can we can see, see. and then bike back. One thing we've been fighting is it's been like storming every afternoon and evening. So kind of want to get back before that yeah, happens. Yeah, we gotta beat the rain. So we got VR headsets when we were home in the States. And this is now what we do. <laughs> I am in a futuristic apartment right now. Like honestly, I know it looks really dorky and it a thousand percent is very dorky. <laughs> but it's also really cool. And really fun. Like it does not look cool <laughs> from, from this angle, but being in it is really fun. I just fully stepped in dog No. I just stepped in dog doo-doo. He's always trying to save me, and I couldn't save him. As you know, our Airbnb, the reason I got on this camera, our Airbnb is about a half an hour walk from Centro, uh, or a $3, $4 taxi ride. Today, we're choosing to walk. The first bit of the walk is along a pretty busy road. Yeah. Where buses fly and the sidewalks yeah. are pretty narrow. Very narrow. <laughs> so it like gets the heart rate up in the morning. It's a good, good start to the day. Now I have to find a puddle to rinse my shoe off in, which shouldn't be hard because it's supposed to rain all day today. Which will also add to the adventure. <laughs> It 
If you're looking for a way to support our channel, become a part of the Cafe Inyo crew. Just go to CafeCanLecheTravels.com. You'll get to join a private group where you'll have direct access to us, exclusive content, and information about in-person meetups, which we're excited to start doing soon. Yeah, it's a really great way for us to get to know you in a more intimate way, as well as you getting to help us out. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button and click that bell. <laughs> It helps us and helps you get notified every time we drop a new video. We drop a new video? Yeah. We're Jay-Z. The rainy season is real. So. Hey guys, we're struggling. Everything's closed. <laughs> the photography museum, the only thing that's open is this courtyard, which is very pretty. But I would have loved to see photography. Nope. And every museum that we're looking at on Google is like closed, closed, temporarily closed, closed. So. Get vaccinated. Please. getting saucy. <laughs> we don't really drink, but. When in Rome. So we wanted to try some mezcal. We got some agave de cortes. I don't think I've ever had mezcal in my whole life. Better than tequila. And then we decided to get a mojito and a margarita as a ch chaser. <laughs> so this is probably the last stop for the day. So we tried to get as much as possible into one week in Oaxaca while st still working. And nature. <laughs> The rainy season was real. It is currently raining, <laughs> which is why we can't film this inside the Airbnb because the tin roof is very loud. But our thoughts on Oaxaca. Oaxaca is colorful and full of life and also very calm and peaceful at the same time. It is really a really, really great city. It feels super like traditionally Mexican. The cobblestone streets, the colonial architecture, the cacti everywhere. Not a lot of modern things around. In some restaurants there may be, but other than that, it is very colonial. It is a foodie's dream. Mm. There's so much locally sourced ingredients, so many slow food chefs and kitchens. You could spend your entire time eating here. Yes, you could. And if you do like a little cocktail here and there, mezcal, 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 how do you say it? He's drunk. <laughs> how do you say it? Mezcal. Oh, okay. <laughs> Mezcal. Mezcal. Mezcal is here, and if you prefer that, it is great. We loved how walkable the city is, and how you could spend the day just getting lost in the tiny streets and the, the green parks with the beautiful fountains. Even staying 30 minutes away, we still were able to walk everywhere every day. And like you said, you can't really get lost lost, but it's you do have the opportunity to wander around and see everything, especially in Central. There was a lot to do and a lot of really cool day trips that we didn't get to do, so we'll have to come back. Definitely, we missed the beach this go round, partially because it's raining and partially because it is farther away than we thought. It's like um, a seven hour drive to the coast. And also it may be closed due to the stank nasty COVID. So we will be back for the coast of Oaxaca State, but this trip was great. Yeah, and that will be its own adventure in itself. 
We didn't really get a chance to explore much outside of Centro, so we don't really know what the rest of the town is like. Looks like there are houses that go up into the hills kind of all around, so there might be more modern like complexes up there. We just, we don't know, we didn't get there. We also didn't get out to the ruins, so we'll do that next time. Another thing we found, which has been constant throughout Mexico, any city we've been to, is the people are so warm, so warm. and so nice and friendly and helpful and generous. It's just continually blows us away. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it kind of brought back that charm that we've been drawn to in Merida and we feel like it's kind of the same like local people just really really feeling so invitational and welcoming. So if you're planning a trip to Oaxaca check out all of our tips on our blog at CaféConLecheTravels.com. We'll leave the link below and if you're looking to support the channel get exclusive content and get connected with us definitely consider joining the Café Inyo crew which is also on our website. Yeah we want to get to know you. Thanks for traveling around Oaxaca with us. Uh, let us know below in the comments what your favorite place that we didn't get a chance to see in Oaxaca is. We come out with new videos every Thursday, so if you're not subscribed, what are you doing? <laughs> subscribe. Make sure you like, subscribe, ring the bell, all the YouTube things. And here comes our tagline. Hasta luego. We'll see you next time.